Hello, my name is Bonnie Molina, and I'm a consultant at CS3 Technology, and this is the first video in a series of three videos about using Scissortail Ready's custom forms. Custom forms are used in checklist and HR actions and start with a PDF file as a template, then adding interactive fields for the user to answer questions or provide information. One of the most common uses for custom forms is for onboarding acknowledgements. Onboarding a new employee starts with paperwork, acknowledging company policies and procedures, questionnaires, and so on. To start, I'm going to show you where to locate the custom form, how to upload a PDF template, and configure a simple employee acknowledgement signature page. I will show you how to add the custom form to a checklist, assign the checklist to an employee, and log in as the employee and sign and submit the form. So let's get started. Okay, I'm logged into my demo company, and I am going to go to the hamburger. I'm gonna to go to the gear. We're going to go to HR setup and then custom forms. I'm gonna add a new, name it um, whatever signature page is going to be, just name it according to what it's actually, give it a name that you can recognize what it is. going to hit save. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to click on the pencil to go into edit mode. We're going to choose a file to upload. And upload. And it includes the background. Now we're going to add three fields to the employee name, the date, and the employee signature. So I'm going to hit save at this point. I don't lose any of my, my steps so far. I'm going to hit add new field. When you add a new field, it always starts at this position. You can double click to turn it red means that it's in edit mode or you can click on the pencil. Now, when you click on the pencil, this setting fields comes up and we're going to call this employee name. We're going to make it read only. We're going to make it a type employee. And when you make it a type employee, you have to determine which field from the employee record you want it to pull from. It has all the fields available and they're in here in alphabetical order. And we're going to choose full name of the employee. It's the field order one and the position. We aren't quite sure where we want it. We can drag and drop it to about where we want it. Um, and I like to make the field um, about 320. Uh, let's make this uh, 85 and 197. That's about where I want it to be. So that's a little long. So let's make this uh, 250. So it fills up the page for those people who have really long names. Once we hit save, we can add a new field. Now this field turns yellow because now we're in edit mode for the new field. This one will automatically turn read only. We're going to use date submitted. And it's generated by the system. It's called date submitted. It's automatically filled in as soon as the employee hits the submit button. So let's leave it at 120 and kind of drag and drop it about where we want it. Let's make it 380 and 197 to match the third field Y. And we'll change it to that 20 so it fits nicely 
in between those wordings and hit save. And then we're going to add our last field, which is a signature page, signature, employee signature. And we're going to name that employee signature. And the type is going to be sign. It's all the way down at the bottom. And then we need to choose who's going to sign it. And these are our options. In this one, we need the employee to sign it. Change that to three. Our position to make it match with the first one is 85. Not sure about um, about where we want it to be and. So let's make this 250. And then we'll just drag it and drop it to about where we want it to be. Yeah, that's about right. Let's just make that a whole number. And then we can preview it. This is what it looks like. Now there's a couple things that we need to do to get this ready to be used. First of all, we need to give the employee uh, security rights. But before we do that, we need to back up to this first page where none of the fields are checked. And we need to give it something that the employee is signing against. They're going to sign against their employee name and the date submitted. They're going to, that's what they're verifying, that they actually read the information that the signature page is for. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to go into security. Now I showed you how to get to the location going through the menu, but you can also type what you want to look for here. And we're going to give the permissions for the employee to look at this in my custom forms. And we're going to give them the ability to view and edit. And we're going to hit save. And now we're going to assign that custom form to a checklist item. So I'm going to go into the, my hamburger and type in checklist. And we want to be in HR setup checklist. And we're going to add it to the new employee checklist. So we click on the pencil. And I'm just going to change out this custom form that I have in here. Um, I've already set this up and I just need to choose the custom form. And we're going to make it three days after the employee started. And the person to complete it is the employee. And confirmation required means that they need to sign it again after they submit it. They send a notification after submission to whoever we have designed to receive the HR notifications, which is most likely the HR manager. And we allow updates manually. We usually do not allow that. And send a reminder notification that it's due to the employee. So I go ahead and check that. And then I hit save. And save again. And this is where we can choose to auto add it to all new employees. If we click here, when you set up a new account, it'll automatically assign this checklist. So let's go back. And then I want to go into the employee record. So I'm going to go through the menu this time, hit the hamburger, the team icon, my team employee information, and I'm going to assign this to my employee Bonnie demo. 
going to click on the HR tab, go down to checklist, click on the checklist, add a new checklist, and we're going to add the new employee checklist. We're going to hit save. And now I'm logged in as the employee. And as you can see up here on the bell in the top um, by the, the name icon, you can see that they have one item ready to be read. And in my checklist, Down at the bottom, we're going to click Open Checklist. And we're going to go to this Advanced Custom Form that we added. And it shows up as the name we named it, CS3 ham, uh, handbook, sign, handbook Signature Page. And when they open, this is what it looks like to the employee. Now the form that we put in is on this side. And they answer all the questions over here on the right hand side. So it automatically puts in the name of the employee based on the employee record. It puts in the date submitted because that's today's date. And then we're going to sign it. And as you can see, it says by clicking I agree. And then down here, please type in Bonnie Molina's password to confirm is because I'm the one who's logged in. So it requires my password. I'm going to put in my password and that I agree. And then I'm going to hit submit. And OK. And those are the steps for creating Scissortail Ready's custom form. Be sure to check out my second video on using radio buttons and checkboxes, which can be found under the links and video section in Scissortail. And as always, if you need support, please contact us at support at cs3technology.com.